Hi friends, what's up? This week I wanted to share with you a little demo and color wheel of this set right here. This is the Holbein Artist Color Gouache Set. It's the five mixing color set. So it comes with this little paper here and we'll just do a quick unboxing. This set has five tubes of 15, milli 15 milliliters each or half a fluid ounce. The back shows you a little bit of information and it comes with this paper here that has some color wheel info and a value chart. This is a Japanese set. This brand um, can be found in the US at fine art stores or online. I actually purchased it on Amazon at the time. It ran me about $35. Now that seems kind of steep, but these will actually last you a good while. And even though you only get five tubes, you're gonna be able to mix a really wide range of colors. So the primary mixing set has magenta, or yellow, cyan, black, and white. So with just the three primaries, magenta, yellow, and cyan, you'll be able to get a full range of color. And with the white and black, you can make tints and tones. And if you learned in school that your primaries are red, yellow, and blue, I mean, that's kind of close, but the true primaries would be cyan, magenta, and yellow, just as a printer uses CMYK. That is why you can get much more color accuracy. For this demo, I'll be using the Spectre Gold Brush. Now this one's very old and you can see that it does not really come to a nice point, but it'll do just fine for this demo. I'll be using the two water jar system, one for cleaning the brush and one for applying clean water and a pipette and this handy little flower palette. The flower palette can be found on just about anywhere. Um, you can buy these in plastic or porcelain. There are links down in the description, as always, for the Amazon um, products. If you need them, you can check those links out down below. They are affiliate links, so I do get a small kickback, but it does not increase your costs. So if you want them, please consider using those links. Okay, so we're just about all set up. I'm using the Canson watercolor paper, Canson XL. It's like 90 pound paper. This paper is... Um, I think very nice for beginners and for practice. Uh, ideally, you should be using whatever color pa watercolor paper that you want to work on. So if you want to use finer, more expensive stuff, it'd be good to practice on that. But that can get really out of hand very quickly, especially when working on a budget. So sometimes you'll want to go for a little bit cheaper options. And I think this is a great cheaper option. Now laying out some of those colors, my yellow, my magenta, and my cyan. On this paper, I have pre-drawn a circle and have marked out a couple of areas to help just guide where I'm going to place things. I'm going to start off with that clean brush, a little bit of water, and I'm going to put down those primaries in the exact third positions to space them out. So we'll start at the top with this yellow. <coughs> Uh, gouache, if you don't already know, is very similar to watercolor. It is water soluble, but the difference is that these tend to be more opaque and um, you can still reactivate them and you can layer them quite easily if the underlayer is dry. They're a lot of fun to work with. They give you a very nice illustrative look. And I placed that blue or cyan rather in the wrong position. So let's just bump that down a little bit to more of that third position. So I took a clean brush and just laying down some of that pure cyan. And if you've never done a color wheel, I would highly recommend it. You may have seen previous videos of mine where I talk about the importance of swatching your watercolors um, or any paints to, to really get a feel for it and know like what colors you're working with. And I would definitely recommend doing that. If you are trying to use fewer base colors, like working with a primary set like this and mix your own, which I think is an excellent practice to learn color theory and harmony and all that, um, I would definitely suggest trying to learn with fewer products. I know the urge is like real, real great to use or buy all the different kind of art supplies that you can. I have been there, believe me, but having so many choices 
is a little bit overwhelming and I think you can get a lot farther if you focus and use fewer items and master those before you move on. Anyways, off the soapbox and in between each color that I lay down or every two colors, I am putting in the middle the color that is smack in the middle there. So as we get closer to blue, there's less yellow and a lot more blue. As we get closer to that yellow, there's going to be much more yellow than there is blue. And you'll see the gradient of colors go through. When you try this, it is a practice of having the right amount of each thing. With colors, there's always, if you have two, there's always one that is a bit more strong, more dominating. And so it will take over the mix very easily. And in this case, yellow is going to be our weakest one. So when you're doing your yellow to green area, make sure you have a lot more yellow than you have the blue in the mix because it will take over very, very easily. So you can see here, I'm adding a lot of yellow and probably still not even enough for where I'm at. I want this gradation to be much more of a smooth transition. And if you can see here, there's a hard line between that yellow and green, which means I used a bit too much blue in that mix. Again, some colors are just way more dominating, so you'll have to be careful and play with that. Always use more of the um, color that is not as dominant when you're trying to go for these lighter shades. But with the gouache, since it is able to reactivate a little bit you can kind of play with it lift up some of that color and make that gradation a bit smoother so adding a little bit more cyan to the end of that area there and then we'll start working our way with the magenta so clean brush i'm going to start with some magenta in its position actually kind of mix some of that purple first, but I should lay down that magenta first. All right, I didn't do what I should do. I am going more for that purple next because I have a little tick of where I want that purple to be, but really I should have started with that magenta. It's okay. So as you can see, it's it's fairly forgivable. You can play with it and push and pull in the directions you need. Now I'm going for a kind of red violet. So it's a lot more of that magenta and a little bit of that blue purple color I've already made. And we're gonna work that red violet up to that violet color so that we can make that smooth transition. Now with gouache, you can water it down a lot. So if you want more of a watercolor look, you can add more water. If you want it very thick and kind of pasty, almost like a cartoon, you can use it more full strength with just a little bit of water and it gives you some really cool effects. Gouache is something that I never played with until more recently. I like it a lot. I don't feel all that comfortable in it yet, but it has a lovely look and I really enjoy looking at other people's art who have uh, kind of mastered it better than I have. This set is really nice because it, it blends really, really nicely. As you can see, as I mix these colors, they're still very vibrant. I did a review of the um, Arteza gouache set a while back. It was the 24 color set. And while they're nice and the colors straight out of the tube are quite pretty, they don't mix nearly as well as these are doing. And that is probably because of a couple of reasons. Mostly because we're working with just CMY here. So it's very easy to get clean color mixes. The other reason is probably because this brand is a lot finer. There are um, less fillers. It is a higher quality brand. Not, not to knock Arteza, I think Arteza is, is really nice for what you get. I have enjoyed the products that I've used for the most part, um, but they are not fine artist quality. They are what I would consider student grade, um, even upper student grade. They're, they're nice and great for hobbyists, but if you wanted to elevate your art a little bit more or charge more for it, you would definitely want to be using finer materials with higher archival qualities so again you can see here that that 
magenta mix in the yellow gets very strong so I had a lot of yellow laid down and I'm gently brushing in some of that magenta which has now turned a very lovely orange. When you're doing your color wheel just remember the strengths of certain colors some will be so much more dominating and it's very easy if you're not used to it to mix too much of the dominating color. Now we have our color wheel. It, it looks fairly decent. I'm going to go in and just take a clean wet brush where needed and blend some of those transition areas so we can see that nice gradient. Now if you wanted to you can make this ring with specific segments where you have a solid color filling each segment and you don't really blend in between them but I really like the look of having this more seamless so you can see that color transition as they mix together. I just think it's fun and pretty and kind of looks like a color wheel like you would have on a digital painting program. So same thing, just going through some. I'm actually going to take some clean water and pull these up a little bit. This is part of my kind of lift blending test that I like to do with all brand new um, watercolor or gouache supplies that I get. I like to see if I make a mistake how easy it would be to fix by lifting or blending something out and these work very very well. And as usual, some of those darker colors tend to be more staining and it's a little bit harder to lift out and blend. But as, as you can see here, you can do it to some degree of success. And as we lighten those up, you see really light, almost translucent looking color here that is very similar to watercolor. All in all, guys, I would say that this is a fabulous set to get started in if you are looking for a high quality set and in fewer colors so that you can practice your color mixing skills. This set here is highly recommended. I think it is lovely. You get a decent amount. With gouache, I have found that I tend to use kind of a lot, but gouache, because it is re, because you're able to reactivate it, you can save some of that. And if you're careful about not contaminating the pure color so much while you're working and mixing your color separately then you can really stretch out the longevity of this and even if you like to mix and make a mess you can certainly save those color mixes and use them already that you pre-mixed so it's a great set i highly recommend and i hope you enjoyed this short little video and you all take care thanks for watching Happy creating and peace out guys.